Hello, this is my new Sanjian uh, HDR14. HDR14 HD radio. So I got this about a week ago, and so far it's been wonderful. I'm playing it right now through my uh, Yamaha RS202 receiver. You can see I've got an auxiliary uh, Y adapter plugged in to the headphone jack of the Sandian. I also have the AC adapter plugged in. And you can see that it's tuned to KQAC HD 1 Plus. What the plus means, there's other uh, HD channels on the same station. So, yeah, this has been a great little radio. Uh, definitely sounds a lot better than standard FM, which is why I got it. Um, I have an HD radio in my car, and uh, I noticed as soon as I got the car how great the FM sounded. Well, it's because it was tuning in a digital signal. So HD radio, in case you didn't know, is basically digital audio broadcasting. They call it HD radio in America and Mexico and Canada and Romania and a few other places because um, it's different than DAB or digital audio broadcasting, which uses a different frequency band. Uh, DAB uses the 200 plus frequency band, whereas HD radio uses the same um, frequency band as, uh, as uh, standard FM. So what happens is if you're in an area where you're getting marginal reception on that, and on the HD signal, it will default to the standard FM broadcast. So, but I never use, I'm never going to use this for standard broadcasting at all. It's either going to be for HD or not at all. So uh, it gets fantastic reception, and I'll show you just by pushing the little menu button right here. It'll show... Um, it has a clock built in, has a date, um, and there's the signal strength. And you can see the whip antenna is all the way down, but it's still getting uh, uh, maximum reception. So that's really great. So, and it, uh, of course, it has uh, the RDS uh, information for the station it's tuned to. So R R RDS is Radio Data Service. So yeah, it's a it's an excellent little radio. It has 40 presets, 20 AM, 20 FM. I get zero uh, HD AM stations, and you know what? I really don't care. Uh, AM is just a frequency band I had no interest in. So, so it has 20 FM presets, and uh, I really only use uh, three or four of those. So I have those plugged into the first five buttons in the bottom. So the way you access the additional ones is you hit the page button right here. It takes you to a different page. So in other words, you have like, it says 1, 3 right here. Well, the 1 means the page number 1, and 3 is preset number 3. So you have um, four different pages and uh, five presets in each page. So that equals 20, in case you're, mat you're a math scientist. So um, I don't use the, I've got batteries in it, but... I really don't use it that way. Um, I've heard some people complain that the batteries didn't last that long, but uh, I don't know. I've read other people say that they've gotten 25 plus hours on a set of three AA batteries, which seems reasonable to me. And so maybe the, it even gets longer than that. I mean, if you're going to use uh, batteries all the time, you just get yourself a, a set of rechargeable batteries and do it that way. But like I say, I'm using the AC adapter, which is included. So the total price of this radio was $71.95 from Amazon. And um, I've seen other retailers sell it for that same price. So it, it really fluctuates a lot. It seems to bounce around between $70 and $80. But for what it does, it's, it's quite reasonable. And um, I've even listened to this on high-quality headphones. Now I'm talking my... I'm going to just... Come over here and show you the headphones I'm talking about. So there's my Yamaha receivers plugged into RS202. And you can see I've got it plugged into line one right there. And I and these are the headphones that I use it with. So yeah, I mean high quality audio. 
so. Anyway, um, I can go over a few of the specs on it here. Um, it's got support for emergency alerts, although none of the stations in my area seem to support that. Because what happens when the, when the station supports that, a little, little A appears right here. Means the, the alert system, real time clock and date. Uh, so certain stations have the ability to update the um, the clock. So I found that out by tuning into different stations, and it automatically updates the clock. Two alarm timer by radio or buzzer, uh, snooze function, um, information displays I just showed you for channel frequency, call sign. Um, audio mode, signal strength, clock time. So, yeah, that's basically it. Um, so, if you're looking for a small portable, or really just, I, I thought about getting the HDR16, which is a much bigger rate radio, but I don't intend to ever listen to it. It's always going to be plugged into my stereo, uh, or it's going to be, if I'm away from home and I I uh, want to listen to HD radio, I can plug in a set of stereo headphones. So, I really don't see any purpose in getting a larger unit. Uh, the tuner in it is very sensitive, uh, at my location anyway. I've seen other people re that have reviewed it, and they, they also said the same thing, that it's very sensitive. So, I, I give it, uh, you know, 10 out of 10. I mean, it's been, uh, in, this, in the week that I've owned it, it's been flawless. And uh, it's easy to use. And uh, like I say, my biggest concern before I bought it was the audio quality out of the headphone jack. Because the HDR16, the bigger model, has a separate uh, line-out jack. Which I thought, well, gee, maybe I should get that because that'll probably be cleaner audio. But I thought I'd give this one a try and I haven't been disappointed. The audio from the headphone jack seems to be very, very clean, and uh, no, I don't hear any hiss at all, even through my high-end headphones, and, and and through my stereo. So, thanks for watching, and uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave them in the comments. I don't look at my comments very often, but I do eventually get around to them. So, thanks for watching.